Hi everybody, this is Sofa Vapor here. Come on, come on in, come on into the parlour, sit down, kick your shoes off, all that jazz. Yes, juice review for you today, four tobaccos that are for sub home and all from Dinner Lady. Has to come in this nice little presentation package for me. Uh, I, I have had these a while, so you know, we have to bear with me. Anyway, we're going to go through these. So we might as well get straight on with it, aren't we? We'll open the box. We've got a little box there and we'll, uh, we'll grab another set, we'll grab some batteries, some batteries, I forgot again, I forgot again, I did, silly me, let's get that, let's get that, they're already wicked as you can see, I've got them all prepared except I didn't get batteries out again, so let's get a battery in, we have the other set with the Wasp Nano, with not Cotton Bacon Prime but Firebolt in there for a change, and my usual build of 0 0.31 and we'll get the first one out of the box and the first one out of the box is dinner ladies mint tobacco dinner ladies mint tobacco so shall we try this one let's give it a shake um these are 70 30 uh they're made for sub home there's 60 mil bottles 50 mil in there in for the nick shot so you can nick them up and yeah sub home tobacco for sub home not many of them about is there so uh by the way these was uh sent in to me free for the purpose of review by the lovely uh guys over there it's uh dinner ladies let's try and get this cap open and i'm i'm struggling guys i'm struggling there we go i think i think i might have got it that time there we go so we've got a mint tobacco so let's have a hmm this one smells like a bad mint actually let's have a knuckle test Try it out. It's like the mint cream and mint in the uh, after eight. Not getting very much tobacco taste from it. Very sweet. Mm. Oh well, let's wet the wicks. See how we go on. Let's get these wicks all wet, all juiced up. Let's give it a fire. Oh dear, I've got that one again. I've got the broken one, I think. Make sure it's locked in. It smells like an after eight mint to me. It really does. <laughs> Let's see how it vapes. See if we can get any tobacco sort of flavour from it. It's a bit of a strange one, this one. I must admit. So let's get that top cap on. Let's take it for a two. Oh, yeah, that's different. Wow, that is different. That's like the, the mint from an after eight mint. And you do get the tobacco taste behind. Now, the tobacco behind, it seems very familiar. Maybe a bit of litakia in there. Yeah, definitely on the on the lines of Latekia as a tobacco. Now I couldn't say it's a tobacco on a knuckle test, but it does come through on the uh, on the vape. I'm just going to pop a little bit more on that because you know what? It's very interesting this one. I'm. Uh, it's, it's a bit a bit different. A mint in there. <coughs> Excuse the cough guys, nothing to do with the vape. That's me. It's 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 just down to me the coughing. Well that's unusual. Now 
It is sweet. It's not, it doesn't taste over sweet on the vape, but it does on the knuckle test, I must admit that. And you know what? That's not bad. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that, actually. Um, that we actually get that tobacco taste behind that mint on the exhale. So I'm going to just pop these ones over here, out of the way. That is uh, that's interesting. It really is. Let's get next one up. Let's get next Odyssey up and get a battery in. So here we go. Make sure that button's off yet. Yeah. Did that once, you know, burnt the bloody cotton. Press the button. Right, let's take that off. As before, the other said, the last nano, uh, fire bolt in there, 0.31 build as normal, because that's all my builds in these. And we'll go for the next one. We'll give it a shake first of all. Put that down, and we have got cafe tobacco. Cafe tobacco. So that's going to be a coffee, I should expect. A coffee sort of. Babe, let's get this open. If I can, oh yeah, I think we've got that one a little bit easier. Let's give it a smell. Oh. Definitely coffee. Something else in there as well. Oh, the tobacco's strong in that one. Tastes like a coffee and cream. Maybe a little bit of caramel, I'm not sure. Definitely coffee and cream. Let's wet the wicks. These are interesting. Very. Especially as the silver ones. Because as uh, most of mine are, have been um, mouth to look and stuff. So, let's give it a fire. See what it smells like. Definitely a coffee and cream tobacco. Oh, oh a coffee and cream vape. Look at that. I knocked everything all over the place. E you know, every time I come online, isn't it? And every time I do a review, I always bugger up something. Let's get some more on that. Let's get the top cap on and take it for the vape. There's my full. Here we go, guys. Definitely a coffee, coffee vape, but it tastes more like um, a cigar tobacco to me. It, it does, that's one of the two. Definitely more like a, a cigar tobacco. I'm just going to pop a bit more on there. I know I'm taking ages with these, but well, I have had them a long time, so I might as well give them a little bit of time, haven't I? Let's have a look. That's definitely a coffee and cream. And the tobaccos there, I'd say it was more on the cigar tobacco type uh, vape. Um, I'm sort of something else now. I'm sort of like a little bit of caramel or something like that. Um, there's definitely something else in there. Not sure. Not sure whether it's caramel or not. But definitely a coffee and cream vape with a cigar type tobacco behind it. And it's quite nice. So let's rush on to the next one. I know I've got to get through them. I've been yakking all the time, haven't I? Because I'm always yakking away. Let's see what else I can knock over now. Uh, so I see need some more batteries. I need to get some more. These are all charged, by the way, all fresh charged. Odyssey again. Let's get battery in. Same, same thing. 0.31 build, uh, firebolt in there, Odyssey, what's done all, and let's get the next tobacco out, and what do we have here? Uh, we have a caramel tobacco, caramel tobacco, so 
Let's give this a quick shake. Here we go. Can I do it? Oh. You know, I'm sure it's not just my dexterity problems. I'm getting weaker as I'm getting older, I'm sure I am. Let's have a smell. Again, it's a nice smelling tobacco. You can smell the caramel, you can smell the tobacco. Reminds me of an RY4 type of smell. So let's get that on the knuckle. Hmm. Definitely caramel. The back is a bit strong in this one as well. I think the uh, I think they're not doing too bad actually. These tobaccos they actually taste like tobacco. I mean taste as well. Right, plenty on. Let's get it. Let's get it fired. Give it a smell. If we can get the button to work, that is. No, I'm having right trouble with these, aren't I? I think I need to clean them all up properly. Hmm, yeah, RY40 type smell to it. I've not had a RY4 for a long time, but uh, definitely that sort of smell to it. Let's uh, pop the top cap on. There we go, let's take it for a two. Again, the tobacco in this is, is fairly strong. This is not sweet, this one by the way. Um, it was a little bit sweet on the knuckle test, but on the vape itself it's not sweet, so you're getting the bitterness of the tobacco. Uh, the caramel's there, but it's not as prevalent as it is on the knuckle test. So. Yeah, again, I think I think the tobacco's sort of on the darker side of tobaccos, on a tequila type sort of tobaccos. That strong taste. Well, I wouldn't say that was actually the tequila that's in that, but it's definitely on that darker, darker side, that richer full of flavour um, tobacco you know what I'm quite impressed with these I expected them and I'm not going to lie to you I expected them to be crap I did and uh, up to now they're proving me wrong aren't they because they uh, they are quite really well right last one out of the box then what do we have we have smooth tobacco now if this is a normal smooth tobacco um the smooth like you get the concentrate that always reminded me of maybe a little bit of a dirty ashtray um so let's get that going and we're gonna have a change now we are on the innocent eye taste arachnid uh what's nano same cotton same build let's just uh Undo the button would be a good idea. Put the battery in. Turn it up. Make sure we've got some battery movement. We have. Right. Let's give it a shake again. And we'll uh, we'll give it a knuckle test. And a smell. Let's have a look. Oh god. I struggle with bottles. I don't know why I struggle with bottles, you know. I really don't. Let's take a let's have a smell, eh? And then take a, a little taste. Now No. That just smells like plastic. 
let's take a knuckle taste. Knuckle taste. Yes, let's take the taste. Let's have a knuckle, a little bit of knuckle. It's one of them days again, isn't it? This is very sweet. Again, the tobacco's on the dark side, the richer, fuller flavoured tobacco. So, let's wet the wicks. Let's see how we go on. I'm not uh, over keen on this one, so I might have spoke too soon a minute ago. But, you never know. It might be okay. Let's give it a fire. Mm, not too sure about this one. Let's get top cap on and take it for the two, eh, guys? Here we go. Let's take it for the two. Quite a bitter tasting um, e liquid. It's not the not the best this one. You can taste the tobacco in there. It's more of a golden type tobacco uh, in this one not quite as dark as and, and rich as your ogres but it tastes artificial this one really artificial uh, unlike the other three that preceded it um, they've been really took me by surprise because they've been really good this one is more put some more on give it a bit more of a go but this one's more of a takes me back to a couple of older versions of tobacco that was very uh, artificial yeah is this I don't know about this one So yeah, there's tobacco there and let's remember that taste is subjective uh, what I get from it you may not what you get from it I may not um, it's not bad it's not brilliant it's not the best of the four um, and you know what <laughs> the sub home ones sub home tobaccos you know 70 30 mixes they're all right I, I'm quite impressed I think they've done a good job on three out of the four of them uh, and even the fourth one here you can still tell it's a tobacco um, it does remind me of a couple of real older cheaper chemically type ones it doesn't taste chemically it just tastes artificial uh, and you know what a big thank you for dinner ladies for sending these out for me free for the purpose of review it's very kind of them and um, on to Brian there for sending them and you know what guys I'm, I'm I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed to tell you the truth on three of the four of them. Um, I didn't expect them to be the way they are. And guys, give them a try if you're into tobacco vapes and you and you sub them as well. Instead of just having your your fifty fifties mouth to lungers or sixty forty PG ones because some people still do. Um, you know, and you're a sub and you, you like tobacco uh, flavors. Give them a try. They're worth a try really are um, I'm quite impressed actually anyway guys that's it for the review so if you're new to the channel thank you very much for coming over it is very much appreciated 
if you're my existing subscribers thank you very much for staying with me it is appreciated it really is and if you're new to the channel why not hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm next uploaded and don't forget guys give us that thumbs up and I'll tell you what I'll see you on the next one bye for now